We got Ted Park, Justin Park, and Mr. Oliver Moy himself from North Star Boys in K-Town Bay. A lot of you have been asking me to check this out, so I'm going to be checking this out today. Uh, guys, if you want to check out any of my previous North Star Boys reactions, please do so in the North Star Boys playlist. The link to that is in the description below. Let's get into this. K-Town Bay, baby. And here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Toronto. LA. What? Oh. oh my god, I thought there was something wrong with my screen for a sec. <laughs> Wisconsin? Holy shit, he's on fire. K-Town bust down. Was that so true? Oh, he's fading. He's fading. Toronto. Yo. Wow. Hey. This is Justin, right? Uh. Uh. Hey. <laughs> no, the game. Toronto, LA. Is that watermelon we have? Oh my god. Wow. Wow. It's on me. Oh. Wow. Oliver's sound just hits different. Toronto. LA. That's a really cool effect. What is that? Wow, this is going on the playlist. I, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't think it was going to sound like this. So colorful, so psychedelic, this music video from beginning to end. I mean, we begin with um, K-Town Bay, the title of the song. And right off the, right the get-go here, it's just really fucking... An explosion of color, neon colors all throughout. I mean, they're cast in neon colors. At some point, I think it was Ted Park who's like lit up like the man of the sun. You know, like he's been set on fire. Crazy. Directed by Sleep Tight. Is that actually the name the director goes by? Sleep Tight? I fucking love that. That's so cool. Wow. I'm guessing this was shot in L.A. Correct me if I'm wrong. Who's from Toronto to be name dropping Toronto? Is this why you guys wanted me to check this out so bad? T 
Toronto guys. I'm glad nobody spoiled it for me. I'm glad. That was a pleasant surprise. Shit. <laughs> wow, I love all the different... Yeah, there you go. See, on fire. Oh my God. <laughs> That's pretty fucking cool. So I was just looking this up. Ted Park is actually from Wisconsin. Uh, he has played in Toronto, though. I think a couple of times, maybe, I think. He's been to Toronto, though. I know that much. Uh, interesting. Really interesting. Okay, okay. Let's do this again. I love their flow. I got to talk about this just a little bit. Let's do this again. Love this guitar. It's trappy. Yeah, what is happening? I don't even know what they're saying. What are they saying? At first, I thought it was like a cat coming in. <laughs> ah. Hey. Wait. Stay. Toronto. In LA. Where was this shot? I'm going to assume LA. Wow, the effects are so cool. Everyone's just fucking lit up. So I'm going to assume maybe this was actually shot in K-Town, in Koreatown. Right? In Koreatown. I actually was going to stay in Koreatown um, when I first visited LA. One of the hotels in that area was where I was going to stay. I didn't end up doing it, but... I love his flow. I've been riding down Western, Tesla model X, mm. Cut off my old girl, I still can't forget her. Uh. I came from Wisconsin, trade for California weather. Wow. So I guess he actually lives in LA now. That's cr that is crazy. I think he's on the table there, too. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Ted Park. Uh, Ted Park has a really great quality to his voice. It's um, there's that tinge of raspiness to it that I really appreciate. They all have auto tune on their voice. I'm not opposed to auto tune when it's not overly used. Um, but it adds to the atmosphere of the song, right? And uh, you can still hear the quality of his voice come through, which I really like. So. Yeah, he's gone, bro. Somebody help him up. Toronto, woke up in LA. It seems throughout the song, and I don't think this is intentional in any way, shape, or form. This is Justin. Uh, his voice is a bit deeper. Each member that comes in with uh, their verse here, their voices get deeper throughout the song. <laughs> I love that. But it's great. It adds a different quality to their voices between each other. So I love his flow. I love the way he sounds, but I'm... I like the way he moves. I like the way he moves. Because he's not overdoing it, you know? It's like almost slow-mo, which is great. Because it seems everybody's just fucking high in this video. <laughs> so it adds to that. The flow adds to that. Hey. 
Okay, are those watermelons? I don't know. Bro. I love his fucking voice. I fucking love his voice. Yeah. Hey. Dance on me. Dance on me. Did they write each of their own parts for the song? This is a really cool effect. I thought this was like a film reel, but it's not. I don't know what it is spitting around. That's really fucking cool. And we fade out. We fade out, which you don't get a lot of uh, in modern day songs. It happens once in a while, but not too, too often. Wow. I am quite impressed. This is going on the playlist. This is a jammy jam. It's a jammy jam. And I love it. I love just how fucking vibrant the uh, music video is. And... Um, the song has emotion to it. It's a, there's a bit of emotion to this song, you know, uh, which I really love, despite the fact that it's, you know, trap beat, whatever the fuck, man, there's emotion to this. And I, I love it. I do feel that like it's coming from a personal place. Could be wrong. My assumption. Uh, but I do feel like this is coming from a, a very specific personal place. Um, but who am I to say? <laughs> All right. I don't know. Guys, what did you think of this song? What did you think of the music video? Let me know in the comments below. We'll love to hear your thoughts. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so very much for spending all this time with me as I check out Ted Park, Justin Park, and Oliver Moy with K-Town Bay. Until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll speak again real soon. Take care, guys. <laughs>